Hi everyone, welcome to Puzz Media. In this video, we will counting down our picks for the top seven best serial killer movies of all time. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Number seven, American Psycho. Released in 2000, American Psycho stars Christian Bale as Patrick Bateman, a wealthy New York City investment banker who leads a double life as a serial killer. The story is set in the 1980s and follows Bateman's descent into madness as he indulges in increasingly violent and hedonistic fantasies. Bateman is a man obsessed with success, status, and appearance, yet beneath his polished exterior lies a dark and disturbed psyche. By day, he is a picture of corporate success, but by night, he engages in a spree of senseless violence and murder. This movie directed by Mary Heron and based on the 1991 novel by Brett Easton Ellis. This movie also stars Willem Dafoe, Jared Leto, Josh Lucas, Samantha Mathis, Matt Ross, Bill Sage, Chloe Sevigny, Kara Seymour, Justin Theroux, Guinevere Turner, and Reese Witherspoon. Number six, Zodiac. The film stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Mark Ruffalo, and Robert Downey Jr., among others. The plot revolves around the manhunt for the Zodiac Killer, a serial killer who terrorized the San Francisco Bay Area during the late 1960s and early 1970s. The killer taunted police with letters, bloodstained clothing, and ciphers mailed to newspapers. Despite intense investigations and media coverage, the case remains one of the most infamous unsolved crimes in the United States. The film follows the story from the perspective of investigators and reporters who become deeply obsessed with uncovering the killer's identity. The narrative focuses on the lives and careers of these individuals, particularly cartoonist Robert Graysmith, who becomes an amateur detective, and reporter Paul Avery, whose life spirals due to his involvement in the case. This movie released in 2007, this movie is a neo-noir thriller directed by David Fincher, based on the non-fiction books Zodiac and Zodiac Unmasked by Robert Graysmith. Number five, I Saw the Devil. I Saw the Devil is noted for its intense violence and moral complexity, challenging the audience's perceptions of justice and retribution. This movie released in 2010. The film begins with a gruesome scene where a psychopathic serial killer, Kyung Chul, played by Choi Min Sik, brutally murders a woman stranded with a flat tire. The victim's fiance, Soo Hyun, portrayed by Lee Byung Hun, is a secret agent who becomes determined to avenge her death. He embarks on a relentless pursuit of the killer, engaging in a cat and mouse game that blurs the lines between good and evil. This movie is a South Korean action thriller film directed by Kim Ji Woon. The story unfolds as a dark and intense tale of revenge and psychological warfare. Number four. Memories of Murder. This movie is a South Korean crime thriller directed by Bong Joon-ho. It's widely regarded as one of the greatest movies of all time and received critical acclaim for its screenplay, direction, and performances, particularly that of Song Kang-ho. Released in 2003, Memories of Murder is based on the true story of South Korea's first confirmed serial murders and is noted for its dark atmosphere, intense storytelling, and the moral challenges faced by the detectives as they grapple with their own methods and the elusive nature of the truth. Number three, Psycho. This movie released in 1960. Psycho is renowned for its suspenseful plot, iconic performances, and the infamous shower scene, which has become one of the most famous moments in cinema history. Directed by Alfred Hitchcock, this movie follows the story of Marion Crane, a secretary from Phoenix who embezzles $40,000 from her employer's client. Hoping to start a new life, she flees and during a stormy night, checks into the remote Bates Motel. The motel is managed by Norman Bates, a seemingly innocuous young man who lives under the influence of his domineering mother. As Marion contemplates returning the stolen money, she is brutally murdered in the shower leading to an investigation that uncovers the dark secrets of Norman Bates and his mother. The film stars Anthony Perkins, Janet Lee, Vera Miles, John Gavin, Martin Balsam, and John McIntyre. Number two, Seven. Seven is an American crime thriller release in 1995 and directed by David Fincher. The film stars Brad Pitt as Detective David Mills, a hopeful but naive rookie, and Morgan Freeman as Detective William Somerset, a seasoned and cultured veteran nearing retirement. The plot centers around the duo's hunt for a serial killer who uses the seven deadly sins as his modus operandi. 
The killer, known as John Doe, played by Kevin Spacey, selects his victims based on their guilt in relation to one of the sins, and the murders are staged elaborately to represent each sin. As the investigation unfolds, Mills and Somerset are drawn deeper into the twisted mind of the killer. Number one, The Silence of the Lambs. Released in 1991, The Silence of the Lambs is a gripping psychological horror film directed by Jonathan Demme. The story follows Clarice Starling, a young FBI trainee who is tasked with interviewing Dr. Hannibal Lecter, a brilliant psychiatrist and cannibalistic serial killer, in order to gain insights into capturing another serial killer known as Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill is notorious for kidnapping and skinning his female victims. Clarice, played by Jodie Foster, must navigate a dangerous game of cat and mouse with Lecter, portrayed by Sir Anthony Hopkins, to draw out the information needed while confronting her own past and vulnerabilities. This movie has received winning Academy Awards in all the top five categories. Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, Best Actress, and Best Adapted Screenplay.